Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess. Today, I'm finally bringing you guys the acne transformation video. So today is the day. It has been eight months since I started my acne transformation. So I'm going to show you guys a lot of progress pics along the way, where I started, how it was going throughout the whole process, and where I am now. So right now I have absolutely no makeup on my skin and it has cleared up so, so much. It was really, really debilitating having just very bad acne, what I considered really bad for me. It was the worst that had ever been in my life. And I would say I have more like hormonal cystic acne. It started basically like all on my chin. It was just spreading and spreading and then it was getting more onto my cheek area with time. But it was mainly just on my chin. They were those really big like under the skin painful cystic pimples. It was just not fun. So during the beginning of quarantine, so this is back to, I think I actually started exactly on March 18th. I decided that I was going to start a little acne journey and that's what I did. And here I am today. It's so much better now. So I mean, I've got basically no active acne on my face right now. So like this, and these are just like red marks basically. My chin is very smooth. My whole face just feels very smooth and clear. Doesn't look nearly as red and aggravated as it did. And yeah, I wanna show you guys like how I did it. The products that I use, I used two acne treatment products. Both can be purchased at the drugstore so they weren't that expensive, which was great because I've tried expensive prescriptions from a dermatologist before in my past and none of them were giving me like sustainable results my acne has just been like a roller coaster over the past i want to say like five plus years now since my freshman year of college so i'm 24 years old now yeah i'm over acne so i'm so happy i don't have it anymore and i figured out how to get rid of it so first i just want to show you guys a like close-up of my skin right now no makeup on it's the morning i just woke up and this is what we're looking like. Okay, so I just want to get into the products that cleared my skin. So like I said, I used two drugstore acne treatments that tremendously made a huge difference in my skin. So the first one is the Acne Free Adapalene Gel. So this is what that tube looks like. One tube was lasting me about three months, like 90 days. This is my third tube of it. I still have some left in here. So this is Adapalene Gel 0.1%. This, I want to say, was between like $10 and $15, so it's really not that bad. And yeah, if you guys have heard of Differin before, this is, I don't want to say it's like a dupe to Differin, but it's basically like the same product. I think it's just a few dollars cheaper. I use this every single night for the past eight months, and wow, like it has made the huge difference in my skin. So it caused a lot of dryness, peeling, and made my acne worse before it got better. I started with just the acne on my chin, not even like a week to two weeks into using this product. I started getting really bad acne all over my cheeks. Yeah, so this made it worse before it got better, but now look at what we're working with. So I incorporated a second acne treatment product, and that's just the Clean and Clear 10% Benzyl Peroxide. So again, I bought this at the drugstore, not too much money. And basically, these two products combined was what really, really helped, I think, finalize the clearing of my skin. I want to say starting about two to three months into the journey, I still had pretty bad acne. It took at least three to four months to actually see an improvement. So basically what I did uh, for my routine was in the morning, I don't use this anymore, but this is just how I started. So when I started back in March and then for about two months, I wanna say like around May, I was using the salicylic acid face wash. So I don't use this anymore. This is definitely a little more harsh on the skin since it does have a salicylic acid acne treatment in the face wash. But I did use this in the beginning as my morning face wash. And as a moisturizer, 
I would just use this CeraVe PM moisturizer. Again, most of these are just drugstore products. So I don't use this anymore, but this was a great like gentle drugstore moisturizer that I used in the beginning. So for my morning routine, when I started, I was using the South Silk Acid Face Wash and then the CeraVe PM moisturizer. They have an AM one with SPF in it. I didn't like it. It was very thick. It was just hard to rub into my very, very dry, like peeling, burning, irritated skin. So I think I just had like the Neutrogena SPF 50 or SPF 70 sunscreen. I would just use that as my SPF. Now, like I said, in the first like two weeks, it got worse before it got better. It was all over my face, my cheeks. Around like May, June timeframe, I started incorporating the benzoyl peroxide in and I stopped using the salicylic acid face wash and I started just using this gentle cleanser. This is what I use at night. So for about the first like two months of doing the acne treatment, I was using the Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser as my nighttime face wash. It's important that you use a really, really gentle face wash when using a retinoid. You really shouldn't be combining like the salicylic acid face wash with the retinoid at night, which is why I only use that one in the morning. Looking back, I think that was unnecessary. I think the Cetaphil would have been fine morning and night. So I ended up doing that. So about two months in, I was using the Cetaphil moisturizer morning and night as my just go-to face wash. So I really didn't bother to wear makeup except for when I filmed a video, which might have been once a week. So I was just using like a generic makeup remover. I had the Cetaphil makeup remover, wash my face with the Cetaphil. And then after I washed my face, I would apply my moisturizer and then over top of my moisturizer, I would then apply my acne treatment. So I would just put on a very small, like pea size amount to my whole face of the Adapalene gel. So here is the current skincare routine I'm doing. So I still use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Any gentle skin cleanser is probably gonna be fine. This is just the one that I had, so I was using that. I also started to incorporate my SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. So this is the Hyaluronic Acid Intensifier. Again, this is very pricey. It's like $100 for this really small bottle, but it lasts like about a year. Use a very small amount, apply it to like a damp face, rub it in. And after you've done that, I just apply my moisturizer. And this is a product that I only use at nighttime. And I now have been using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Now, again, like I don't think it really made too much of a difference using this, which is more expensive versus this CeraVe one, which is a fraction of the price, probably a fifth of the price. So that's something that I am going to be looking into, probably switching out for something else. And I am, it's like really hard with skincare to go like the sustainable, like lower waste route, I feel, but there are options and I want to explore those. I do think I'm gonna probably like experiment with other moisturizers. I use the Trader Joe's jojoba oil to remove my makeup again. So I went back to using that and I have had no problem with it, it's not breaking me out. So I basically put a couple drops of this in my hand. I just rub it all over my face when I have the makeup on. I take my reusable cotton round and I just wet that a bit and just basically rub all the makeup off gently. Like a minute after my moisturizer is on, I will then apply my Adapalene gel, just a pea size amount, rub it all over the face. And then I'll use my benzoyl peroxide gel, basically as a spot treatment. So when my acne was still all over my cheeks and chin and when i incorporated this product in i was putting like a half pea size amount basically all over my cheeks and my chin like my problem areas now because my acne is so minimal i will just use this at very very lightly on top of the adapalene gel just if i have a little spot i'll put it on that and that's basically all I do with this. And yeah, so this is not an overnight journey for sure. And with the Adapalene gel, it, like I said, it made my skin worse before it got better. But three months into it, I started seeing a difference. And then since then, it's just only gotten better. So happy, like I had a period of time, I wanna say like July, that was when my skin had basically cleared most of the bumps, but I had so much red like scarring. I had a lot of just like red like pigmentation like all over my cheeks and chin. So that was something I needed to work on basically fading. It just takes time, like I hate to say. I will say I tried the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. I had used this last year. I stopped using this when I started my acne journey because I felt like it might be too much for my skin to handle. 
once my skin got to a point where I felt like it was more smooth but it was just really red, I felt like I was able to incorporate this serum back into my skincare routine. So the Skin Ceuticals CE Ferulic, this is very, very expensive. It's like $166, I think, but it lasts a long time. Like this can last me like almost a year. So it's pretty good when you think of it like that. But yeah, this is a very big investment. I don't think it's necessary, but I do think it may have helped some of my red marks fade. I've basically been using this every morning. I just put like a few drops on my face and just lightly rub it in. Then I apply my moisturizer and then I apply my SPF and I feel like it has helped with clearing some of the pigmentation. I do think wearing SPF is also important for that. So I switched my SPF about a couple months into my routine, like before, like before the summer was in full fledge. I decided I wanted to use a reef safe sunscreen. So I was able to find this. This is the Blue Lizard SPF 30. It is a titanium dioxide and zinc oxide sunscreen. It was really hard to find like a mineral sunscreen, not a chemical one, that would rub into my skin because it was so dry and without it looking like white or flaky or just not cute. So this one, it was not too bad. I basically just put a little drop of this and then mix it into my moisturizer. And then I would just mix those together in my hand and just rub it on my face. So it was kind of making my own like SPF infused moisturizer, I'll call it, on days where I felt like I was like actually in the sun. I made sure to reapply this. When you have a lot of pigmentation, when you're using a retinoid, it is very, very, very important to use SPF because you're basically exposing very, very raw and fresh skin every day. So yeah, I like the Blue Lizard SPF. So I just wanted to share what worked for me and I'm really happy with the results so far and I'm excited to see when I hit the one year milestone in a few months where my skin will be at then. So if you guys would be interested in more like skin update videos or like continuing on this transformation process, let me know. I do plan on maybe switching up some of my skincare products like my moisturizer, maybe even my face wash. I just want to experiment with a few things but I do plan to continue to use the adapalene gel and the benzoyl peroxide so I think the key to this skincare routine is a gentle cleanser a gentle just very simplistic moisturizer and then the acne treatments it's a pretty simple routine the serums I don't think are very necessary, but I like to use them and I already purchased them, so I'm gonna be using them up. So that is basically it for how I cleared my skin. So the two main products, again, are the Acne Free Adapalene Gel 0.1%, which is like a daily topical retinoid, and then the Clean and Clear 10% Benzoyl Peroxide. So for the Acne Free Adapalene Gel, I would just apply a pea size amount of this to my face every single night after I put on my moisturizer. Then with the clean and clear, I would use this as like a spot treatment on the direct problem area at night as well, directly after I applied the adapalene gel. And yeah, as you can see, my skin looks so much better. It's not perfect. I do have some slight pigmentation still, but it's not bad at all. Like it is so, so much better. So this is what works for me. It's not guaranteed that it can work for you, but this is what worked for me. I just wanted to share my journey, my personal experience, and my transformation. So this is my eight month transformation using the acne free adapalene gel and then the benzoyl peroxide and I feel like it has worked really well for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you're struggling out there with acne, it can definitely get better. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date with my uploads. And follow my Instagram if you want to get a little more look into my life. I post a lot of what I'm doing on a weekly basis. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in my next video.